around New Jersey, around the clock. This is News 12 New Jersey. Welcome back to Talk to Health. I'm Dr. Derek De Silva. As this country struggles with its weight loss issues, more and more people are opting for weight loss surgery. But many who go through this route and lose large amounts of weight quickly can be left with a lot of excessive skin. It can be both unsightly and, as it turns out, unhealthy. Here to talk about addressing the problem is Dr. Michael Furiello, a plastic surgeon who practices in Ridgewood, along with Michelle Marvin, who had her excess skin removed after losing 150 pounds. Thank you both for being here. Thanks, Thanks for having us. So let's start off with you, with you first, Doctor. Sure. What? procedure did she have? Did she have a gastric bypass? Is that what she did? Yes. Well, Michelle had a gastric bypass, um, losing 150 pounds. Uh, and when she saw me, her complaints basically were the excess skin. Right. So what we did was a total body lift, which is actually a 360 degree donut of skin removed. Mm -hmm. And the lower body is lifted up and the upper body is lifted down. Right. And then we also did a bilateral brachioplasty, which is the arm mm -hmm. reduction of skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we did a breast augmentation with a lift. So we'll go through all of that, but I want to come back to you, Michelle, is what, I mean, it, it seems obvious that why you would do this, but what were your reasons? What were some of the causes that really made you say, you know what, I need to do this? Well, um, I was a young woman, 44 years old, um, and it was getting difficult to get out of bed. I was weighing 300 pounds. Um, it was getting difficult to do activities, to play with my children. Um, you know, simple things like flying on an aircraft gave yeah. you a little anxiety with the size of the seats and everything. So it was time to take care of my health and do it permanently. Well, we, we actually have some pictures of this. And, and you know what? I, I just can't even believe that this is you. Look, look this, is, this is amazing. How much Thank did you. you weigh at this point? I weighed about 297. Wow. 297 pounds. I mean, the health benefits, I mean, the health risks of something like this. I've had, I've cleared, and here's the after. Look at this. That is very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Love that water, too. <laughs> Thank you. Where was this picture taken, by the way? That picture was taken in Aruba. Oh, of course. And look at this. Look at those pants. You really got, there's, you could put two of you in those pants. Those were truly mine. That is unbelievable. That is amazing. Thank you. So when we, when we look at this, I mean, the health implications and everything amazing. that go along with this. So you're, but you're a plastic surgeon. And as I was telling you before we came on here, I'm just li literally clearing somebody for this surgery. Right. What is it that you do with these folks? Well, what we want to do is get rid of that excess skin because the skin causes a lot of problems. I mean, these people go through a lot, they lose the weight, and then they still don't feel good about themselves. I mean, they're skinnier, but they have a lot of excess skin hanging and it's uncomfortable with clothes, and they get rashes. Um, so what we do really is to get rid of the excess skin and some fat and mm -hmm. tighten everything up. Well, we have some pictures that we really want to put up, and maybe you can comment as okay. these pictures come up, of Michelle on the befores and after. Here we go. Here. So here you see uh, the excess skin. You can actually see the holes where she had the original surgery done. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just loose skin. And wow. It's hard to get clothes to fit comfortable, right? Yeah, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. And I think we have a couple more that, that we can go through. And this is So that's the after. We keep the scar nice and low, and we just tighten everything up. I don't even see the scar. Yeah. Is it, a, is it kind of a bikini line scar? It's a bikini line scar similar to a C-section. Right. Uh, the only difference, it goes all the way around. All the way around the body? 360 degrees. Like wow. a donut, yeah. That is amazing. You must feel unbelievable. I feel terrific, thank you. That is really, really amazing. Did you have any health issues, by the way, prior to this, blood pressure, sugar? Um, I had a small blood pressure issue. I had sleep apnea, significant sleep apnea. I wore a machine at night. Mm -hmm. um, so the weight loss took care of that problem immediately. But I was in danger for diabetes and cholesterol and the blood pressure skyrocketing. I mean, there's just so many health risks with being overweight mm -hmm. that I was wasn't willing to take those risks anymore yeah. and then you know obviously the health risk with the excess skin once I lost the weight was was significant to me as well how many people do you see that you've done this procedure with is this oh, is very this common right very common. I've been doing this for 12 years and since the bypass has become popular mm -hmm. again this part of, of my practice and I'm sure a lot of plastic surgeons has just boomed 
it's a huge part of, of practice now. Now, what about other areas? Uh, I'm, you know, it's not just the, the trunk, right? It's the arms, it's the legs. A lot of women, believe it or not, I think arms bother them the most. It's amazing. I hear that all the time. But, but it, yeah, it's everything. The arms, mm -hmm. um, breasts, right. you know, very common. And, and actually, we have some pictures that we'd like to show you on that also. Maybe sure. you can comment on that because, again, this is an issue when you lose weight. You just don't lose it in one spot, right? right? You lose it everywhere. And the, the whole arm issue and the, you know, the, you know, how you readjust the breasts and the readjust the whole body. Here we go. Maybe you can just comment on this. So that's arms. You can see the before and after. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a brachioplasty. And we keep the scar as far posterior as we can so it's not visible. Right. And so the posterior meaning towards the armpit, as far exactly. back into the armpit back as possible. Back into the armpit, and it will come down the arm uh, a varying degree, too. Uh -huh. And we just want to get rid of excess skin and fat. Mm -hmm. And I think we've got one more set of pictures that we're going to look at here also. Uh, yes. Can you just comment on this? So this is also someone who lost a lot of weight, and you can see on top the excess skin hanging, especially on the sides. Mm -hmm. um, and this was... Um, about 13 pounds of skin and fat removed. Mm -hmm. So, Michelle, over what period of time did you gain this weight, by the way? Um, as far back as I can remember, probably when I um, started puberty, mm -hmm. um, which was probably about, you know, between 10 and 12 years old, and I just always remember having a weight problem. Wow. How quickly did you lose the weight, by the way? Um, I had my surgery in March of 2008, and probably by the following year, I was down almost 150 pounds. My goodness, and then you had the surgery when? Um, about um, six to eight months after that, so I began. I think. So that's pretty actually, quick, because um, usually people wait longer, don't they? I mean, well, um, when I first met um, with, doc with Dr. Fiorello, um, he had recommended mm -hmm. that that we wait, you know, mm -hmm. at least the six months to make sure that my body weight maintained where it was okay. supposed to be, and that we were going to do the right things with the surgery he was right. going to perform. Now you do the whole because we're running out of time. Well, you do the whole thing at one time, right? This is one surgery. No. I oh, stage it, it. yeah. Okay. I do the body lift at one sitting, mm -hmm. get, take care of the trunk first, mm -hmm. and then I'll usually do the breasts and the arms at a second sitting. And then sometimes people need a third for the inner thighs. So it's a two or three part surgery, and I usually do two months apart. Well, I'll tell you what, you look fantastic. Thank you very you much. You look fantastic. Keep up the great work, and of course, you with your magic hands, you keep up the great <laughs> work you, too. Doctor. We thank you very much for joining thank us you. today, and it's a thank pleasure you. to have you.